Victoria is moving from a state of emergency to a state of tyranny. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, I'm Jan Yutz. Welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, click subscribe and ring that great notification bell so that you know every single time that I make videos. Now, let's get into this. The Victorian government have introduced new pandemic laws that go further than any other emergency rules that have been used to date. And that's scary. It's scary for every single person living in Victoria, Australia. If you're one of the five and a half million people living in Melbourne, it's scary for you. If you're one of the thousand people living in a small country village in rural Victoria, near the coast or up near one of the borders, it's scary for you too. And if these things pass here in Victoria, don't think for a second that they couldn't pass in other states of Australia or in other countries around the world. All it takes is one, and it can very easily snowball. And that is dangerous. Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has introduced two new bills to Parliament. Sadly, they've already been passed in the lower house. And in two days time, on Thursday the 4th of November, there is the danger that they will be passed in the upper house. Now perhaps you haven't heard of any of this and you've got no idea what's going on in either the state that you live in, the country that you live in, or anywhere around the world to know that this type of thing is happening somewhere. So let's talk about what's in some of these bills. Well, these are permanent pandemic laws. That's right, you no longer need a state of emergency. These will be permanent pandemic laws. Now, according to the politicians and Mr. Andrews, they've very clearly stated, and I don't believe them for a second, that this is only gonna be used in the case where there is a pandemic around. And from the outside looking in, you think, well, I suppose lessons have been learned through 2020 and 2021, so if this helps to automate things in the future, in any other health crisis that might be around, this is a good thing. No, it's not, because if you read between the lines and read very carefully what is being proposed, it's far from that. For example, these new rules would give the Premier of Victoria, whether that be Daniel Andrews or anybody else who has that position in the future, the power to declare a pandemic whenever they want to. There could be an outbreak in Europe that never reaches Australia, never reaches Victoria, but they will have the power to declare a pandemic anyway. If they declare a pandemic, they also have the power to lock down the city for a period of three months. No questions asked. It also gives the Premier power, supreme power, over the Chief Health Officer. Now, our current Chief Health Officer, Mr. Brett Sutton, is a bit of a dick. And all he could really say was, well, if it takes the work away from me, I'm all for it. Yeah, well, you would say that, you fucking moron. Read the fucking t-shirt, Sutton, you fucktard. It's your position that is meant to work with your team to tell the Premier, we believe this is the best thing to do. And the Premier, being the top, should go, okay, well, I'll take your advice. Like he's always said, we're taking the advice of the Chief Health Officer, right, and run with that advice. If that now gets bypassed and it's all with the Premier, the officer might say, look, this isn't a problem, we shouldn't act upon it, but the Premier can say, well, screw you, I'm declaring a pandemic, I'm locking everybody down and barring everything. That is one of the biggest problems with this bill. Another problem with these new rules and these two bills that are hopefully not gonna get passed, I really fucking hope they're not because it's gonna be so fucking awful to every Victorian, is fines. The average person breaking the rules, for example, if you have to wear face masks and you choose not to, if you get arrested and fined, the fines can be up to $90,000 for an individual breaking those rules. And of course, if you can't pay a fine, you'll go to jail. The way these bills are structuring their fines, it's not like what's happened over the past two years where you can contest them and potentially get them thrown out of court. No, no, no. If these bills get passed, your fine will not get thrown out of court. You will be fined $90,000 or more. And if you can't pay it, bang, you go to jail. We've already seen Daniel Andrews mandate the vaccine. There are people out there that do not want to get it for good reasons as well. Some people have had so many harsh reactions to the first one, they don't want to get the second one, but it's mandatory to get two vaccines. And of course, in 2022, we're gonna see the mandatory booster shots. Now, they're not mandatory now, but they will be. And do you know why? Because Daniel Andrews is in charge. 
Now, I'm not gonna talk about everything that these bills propose because this would be a very long video. And to be very, very truthful, there are other videos and articles on the internet that go into that in far more detail. So I've actually put some links to those articles down below in the comments. So please do have a read of those if you live in Victoria. And if you do not live in Victoria, Australia, like I say, listen to what I'm talking about, read these articles, because this type of shit could happen in your state or your country. Don't think for a second it can't. Ultimately, if these bills get passed on the 4th of November, this will give the Premier of Victoria, whoever that person may be, total power over the entire state. Total power. Essentially, it means that Victoria would become a mini autocracy. And that is something that we all need to be aware of. And if you've never heard of the word autocracy, well, it's similar to a democracy. Well, actually, it's not similar to a democracy at all. You see, a democracy is what we have now. Freedom of speech, different leaders in different countries and different states and so forth. Like presidents, prime ministers, premiers. An autocracy is a world governed by one leader. Now, President Joe Biden was recently interviewed in the White House where he spoke about autocracies and how China and Russia were all for it. And no surprises there. He asked the question, can democracies survive in our modern world in the 21st century and beyond? According to China and Russia, autocracy is a good idea. Hmm. I beg to differ because the last time the world tried to have an autocracy, we had a person like that trying to take over the whole fucking planet. So autocracy is a bad idea and it doesn't work globally. It shouldn't work in a country and it definitely shouldn't work in a state in that country. And what Daniel Andrews is basically proposing with this new pandemic law, these two bills that hopefully don't fucking get passed on the 4th of November is literally a small autocratic state. And that's dangerous. I know I've said that before, but it's fucking dangerous. Is there anything that we, the public, can do about this? No, there's not, because we don't run Parliament. However, there is one thing we can do in the short term that can potentially change and save the situation. And of course, the answer to that is vote the fucking bastard out at the next election and vote for the party that promises to remove these awful fucking laws. I'm not political at all, I've always hated politics, but the past two years have forced me, and probably forced you as well, to pay attention to politics. And that really pisses me off. But if we have the power to vote out the current leadership team and bring in a new team that can remove these laws, then that is our duty as the people of Victoria, as the people of Australia. Because there is a quote that Billy Joe Armstrong said in Green Day at one of his concerts many years ago that has always stuck with me and I want it to stick with you too. We had the power, we're the fucking leaders, don't let these bastards dictate your life or try to tell you what to do or how to live. Best fucking advice to live with, I do that all the time. Now, what do you think? Do you think that these new pandemic laws, these permanent pandemic laws are a good idea and that we'll be fine and that you can trust the government to do the best for us? Or do you think that we're all in deep fucking shit? I want to hear from you, so please drop me a comment below. Please read the articles below because it's very important to be aware of the danger of these bills if they get passed. Let's hope they don't. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and remember, don't be a fucktard. You know that song, Killing in the Name of, by Rise Against the Machine? Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! Yeah, people love that song. It's all, fuck the government, fuck the system. Yeah. Well, people have done what they told them. And now we're fucked.